Hey guys, so today I have a very, very, very exciting video to be doing. Um, Valentine's Day, uh, I was gifted the wizardry and witchcraft eyeshadow palette from Storybook Cosmetics from my boyfriend, so thanks to him. And these eyeshadow brushes that are like arrows. So I'm going to be reviewing those today. I know this has been out for a little while and I, I know Jeffree Star and a bunch of other beauty gurus made a video reviewing these but I've just had my eye on them and I figured I would show you guys what they're like and test them out on camera. I've been waiting. I've been wanting to test them out but I waited. Let's get started. Okay so starting off um, when it comes in the mail it comes in this nice sleeve, fabric sleeve. It pulls out. The packaging is really nice. This is like an old um, vintage book per se and on the back it just says all the names. It's very, it feels well put together. It doesn't feel that cheap at all. I hope not. It comes in this big mirror. I've already swatched some of these colors already as you can see but um, I don't know. Let's just get into it. We have these eyeshadow brushes. It comes with this holder actually. Um, I'll link everything back into the description. I haven't seen any reviews on the bow and arrow brushes, but I have seen reviews on the magic ones. So I'm just going to put my hair back with these little ears and we'll get started. I'm going to actually prime my eyes with concealer. I'm just going to dot this onto my eyes using a tiny sponge. The only thing I'm worried about with this palette is that it doesn't have anything like a neutral shade to set my eyes with. I don't know. I've been seeing on YouTube that people don't set their eyes after if they use concealer, but I just feel like I think it wouldn't work that well. So I'm going to be taking my Airspun Loose Powder. Oh gosh, this is breaking. I need a new one. These last forever, by the way, if you've never tried it. It's going to be was a lot. Okay. Dusting this over my eyes. I'm going to start with the color Charms. Right here. Anyway, so I'm going to be taking their fluffy brush. I don't really have a name for it. And I'm just going to be putting the color Charms in my crease. These do feel nice and heavy. But I'm... And this color is nice, but the brushes kind of feel dainty. They remind me of, like, yes, they're heavy, but I don't feel like they blend. Like, I don't know, it's just a transition color so far. But I almost, it feels like those, like, $2 paint brushes. Like, this is what it reminds me of, just because I've never seen a fluffy brush so thin. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fluff... The color broomstick, right here. I'm gonna fluff that into the crease. I'm just gonna take a little bit, see what that does. Okay, I do like how this is applying. It's not too much. Whereas my other fluffy brushes tend to pick up too much product. So this is actually quite nice. So we have this angled one, but then this one's also pointed. They just they look the same to me. This one's a little different. I feel like maybe under the eyes. Maybe one of these you could use for eyeliner. I'm going back in with that fluffy brush and I'm just gonna dab into this real quick. I'm not putting much at all. Just because I want to build this up. I'm not sure how red I want this to be. I think I'm gonna turn this into a cut crease. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up more of sorcerer on this brush. Let's see how this packs it on. Let's see. It's kind of not outlining where the crease will be cut because it's a little messy, but I am trying to keep it just above those. Let's try to blend it up with this. I might need to reach into my other stack of brushes, but this seems to actually be blending out pretty well. This is this is blending out nicely. So we're gonna take a little bit more red on the blending brush, the fluffy 
big fluffy brush. And we're just gonna work that way up. I'm going to add Spellbook, this purple right here. And maybe we'll put some green in there. It's weird, these don't swatch the best. They kind of feel, some of them feel really smooth and then some of them feel really chalky. But on the eyes, I, I'm impressed. I'll use this brush. So this brush is kind of messy and I kind of messed, I did try to go above my crease for a reason so that it wouldn't smudge. Precious when you smile. <laughs> yeah. Hit it from the back and drive you wild. So this brush, I'd rather use a different one for cutting my crease. It's just not smooth. I don't know, I kind of, I'm giving up on these brushes. I like the fluffy one. This is a no for me. I'm just gonna put this away. I'm not liking it. So I'm going to be using the smaller angle. Feels like forever, even this is just way easier, because all you have to do is just draw your line. I'm just gonna try to fix this side. I'm gonna go back in with this oh god I swatched this color okay so I'm gonna just take this detailed brush that I used earlier and kind of swipe some of that purple just a little bit to deepen this up and try to fix where I messed up I'm gonna go with bewitched I'm gonna go try doing it with this flat arrow brush We'll try this without setting spray. Oh, this brush just, it's not working for me. So I'm going to take my Morphe brush. This doesn't have a number on it, but it's from Morphe. It's from a set. Oh, nice. This is very nice. Alright, so now I'm going to take that w the white shade Prophecy. I'm going to be putting this under my brow bone. I know, I didn't do my brows. I'm terrible. I know. So now I'm just going to do some quick eyeliner. I'm going to be using my e.l.f. liner. <laughs> The winged eyeliner is done. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly do my brows and the rest of my face makeup and I'll be right back to finish the eye look. So I'm back and this is the final look. So my camera cut out at this part so I'm just doing it in a voiceover. I recommend this palette but I don't recommend the brushes. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!